Hi guys, so I've just been cleaning the flat. Um, it's took over two hours. I've done the living room, bathroom and my hallway. Done a bit of washing in between. Took a few minutes break to take some rubbish out and get a few bits. But um, yeah, so I think I'm splitting it up into two parts. So part one, like me doing the living room and a bit of washing. And then part two, me doing the hallway more washing and the bathroom and um, a little shopping haul of the bits I got so I hope you enjoy it sorry if I split up into two parts it's just probably because it's going to be a long long video because like I said it's like over two hours worth of cleaning but I hope you still enjoy it and thank you so much for watching so this is the living room before I tidied it this is it most mornings, most days. Anyone with a small child or children knows they do not like keeping spaces tidy for long. And as you can see, that's Sophia's like toy area. I really do need to sort through that again. Coming up in, well, beginning of December is going to be her birthday. And then obviously you've got Christmas. So I really need to sort through that lot and um, try and downsize it. But Sophia's starting school in September, as most of you know if you've been here for a while. So I'm hoping that I help keep it a bit tidier. But who knows, I can only hope. So I started by the dining room table, tidying that up, cleaning that up. All the areas around that. And then the sofa area and then the floor. So um. I did do my living room, hallway and bathroom like I said and it took over two hours. It was hot and when I'm cleaning I don't necessarily do it like as quick as possible. I don't really need to. I was I'm just going to get even more hot so I didn't do it at a fast pace. But yeah, it took over two and a half hours so I did. I am doing it in two parts. But I've also just finished, I filmed it all in one. It's 53 minutes worth of stuff. But I'm not going to be talking in it. And I've just put music with it. Because I find it hard just talking for like a 20 minute video, let alone a 53 minute video. You don't want me to ramble on. And you don't want me to ramble on about the same stuff that's in these videos. So I thought it would just be easier with a bit of music. So if you don't like hear me rambling on, but you like the cleaning, you can watch that. If you don't want to watch the two parts you want to watch it in one part then watch that longer video but i'll post that when i post the second half of this video so the second half will be the hallway and bathroom and then both videos have a bit me doing a bit of washing as well and this one has the beautiful tiger there watching me following me round so what i didn't film is also my kitchen was a tip so I um after I'd done all these rooms, sat down um for a bit, then I got on with the kitchen. I would have filmed it, but at the same time I'm like I was done, the motivation was long gone. So I just quickly did it as well, as quick as I possibly could. And then so when I'm doing this voiceover it's the weekend and Dylan's doing his Duke of Edinburgh and he's back tomorrow. So I want to get into his room, give it a quick clean, tidy, hopefully get into Sophia's room and my room needs a tidy as well. But I'd be glad if I can just get into his room, get that all done. So I am missing him. So normally it feels like I'm by myself at weekends anyway, but at least I know Dylan's there, I can go and harass him. And But yeah, it's just been me and Sophia this weekend mostly. My partner's done some extra work. Um, there was a, go um, a gay pride thing on, so he did security there. So he's been gone all of Saturday. Um, me and Sophia did go off and, and do something, but as soon as we got off the bus, it did start spitting, and it just did that a few times. I didn't mind it because I, I still felt really hot. I felt hot when I left home and... Uh, but she enjoyed it, even though it wasn't great weather. It got us out, and as long as Sophia goes out for a bit, she she's not as nuts, shall we say. 
but she's got a thing well she's always had a thing about pulling the sofa apart but the last few days she started doing it again like a lot pulling all the cushions out tonight I was lucky she left me one cushion to sit on where she used to kick up a fuss if I wouldn't have all the cushions so she's making a bit of progress so there were some little toys down the sofa and in a minute you see there were some crisps there's like the fake quavers there as well so I've picked those up. But who else feels like they're deep cleaning their house like nearly every day or every other day when it should just need a little clean, a little tidy. Just mine needs like a thorough tidy up every day. And it just, it's annoying. So I am hoping it will get better when Sophia goes to school. But it's not just Sophia, it's the boys as well. But hoping September make a massive difference so soon I will go through her toys like I said as well I I recently went through them quickly so I don't know what else I can get rid of I don't know if it's just me wanting her to hold on to these things because I think she wants them or does she actually want them and is she going to play with them I don't know I did fold up our blankets. I did think about putting Sophia's pepper blanket in her room, but so I know she'd only bring it out again, so I just folded it up and put it on the sofa. I can't remember if I told you, when I went to Matalan recently and looked at their sale bits, I saw two blankets that are green, similar to that, with flowers on. I think they were down to like two something, three something. I was so tempted to buy them, but I knew I shouldn't. I don't need any more blankets. We've got so many. So I am pleased with myself, but I did think of a different use for them the other day. I thought I could fold them up and put them on my benches because sitting on them, it's not it's not comfortable. But it's too late now. They're long gone. I did think about checking on the website, but they are probably gone now. So we get a lot of bottles, shoes, a lot of rubbish gathered in the living room. I, I'm naughty as well. When I come in from work, I'll take off my shoes and I'll just leave them in the living room. Either that evening or in the morning, I'll just move them. So I do tell people off, but I'm naughty for doing that as well. So I've got um, a shoe, what are they called? A shoe cupboard thing a few months back. I think I did show you from Argos and it fits majority of the shoes in but it doesn't fit a lot of the, the big men's trainers and Dylan's like a 13 so and my partner has like big bulky um trainers so it doesn't fit them in so they do pile up in the hallway I do want to get a double ottoman I want to go up home bargains but now it's a bit trickier because we don't have the car so I will go up there one day, but I won't be able to bring a lot back. And I want to see if they've got a double ottoman to put all the shoes in, put them under the coats. Either get rid of that, um, the single ottoman or give it to Dylan to put under his desk to put that. He's got his wrestlers under there. He likes to keep the ones he plays with close to hand. So I thought maybe if I put them in the ottoman and I could get myself a double one for those big shoes that won't go in the shoe storage that we have. I'm so sick of seeing all the shoes built up in the hallway. And Sophia's getting to that stage now where her feet are getting... Um, her shoes aren't so little, shall we say. So I've got them in a little box on top of the um, shoe storage and I'm not going to get much more in there now and we'll get as many in there because her feet are getting bigger. So they'll have to get in the shoe storage soon. I just don't want her opening and closing it and breaking the like door if that makes sense because she'll just pull it really hard so now I'm just picking up all the mega blocks first she does have a big tub of mega blocks as well so I think I might get rid of some of them I don't think she needs all of them and I don't think she plays them as much as she used to so I might get rid of that bag of them I think she's got the box of them in her bedroom at the moment. I think it might even be under her bed. She keeps trying to bring toys into her room. It's just, there's like no room for them. 
So the living room's looking a lot clearer now, a lot tidier. I didn't hoover this day as well uh, um, because Sophia was in bed still. So I started about eight o'clock and she'd had a, she didn't go to sleep that night till very late. She just would not go to sleep. So um, I just shook the rug and I, well, I normally sweep anyway, the living room. But I didn't hoover the rug just for the fact Sophia was still asleep. And I wanted to try and get this all done before she woke up. So my partner did surprise me one day. He has cleaned out the bottom of the sofa. But I am still going to do it again in September, October. Because as you know, with little ones, it builds up. And I still need to take the sofa covers off. So another, th I'm giving myself all these jobs to do in September. So I'm going to say September. September, October time, I'm going to get all these jobs that I want to get done when Sophia starts school done. So in that time, I want to pull off all the covers and get them washed. They've just got some stains on from where she spills drinks and, yeah, and yogurts and things. So I wish I could take that armrest off as well. Because I do clean it with um, the same stain remover I use in the washing machine on on the clothes and it does get up a lot of the I don't know grime that gets there but obviously it's not as good as washing it so I'm just brushing out the stuff from under there and I didn't realize still looking at this editing it that there's still a couple of bits under the table at the end there which is really annoying Because I've got hard floors, I do prefer... I don't know why, I prefer sweeping to hoovering. I don't know. I think hoovering would take longer. But I know it would, would probably do a better job. So I, I'm using my... Um, I was going to say my flash mop. My new spray mop from Lidl. I got this for 9 99 it is good, but I don't think it gets in all the edges and corners properly, if that makes sense. So this is the same mop head I used to do the kitchen with. I pull it on a 15 minute, um, the highest um, heat setting wash. And it's come out perfectly white again, so I'm pretty pleased with that. And I only put it on a quick wash because I'm so impatient with the washing and there's always so much to do. And we've got a dodgy wash machine door at the moment, so I'm having to get my partner to open it for me. Because if I open it, it's hit and miss whether it, the door's going to pop off or not. I still need... I haven't got around to calling um, the guys yet, the company, to um, give me a spare part to fix it paying this money a month and I just I don't know I, it is laziness I guess that I haven't called them yet but I will do it I need to do it because I want a proper fully working washing machine so once I've mopped this I do put the rug back but the little sort of matte thing I put underneath it so it doesn't slip up I, I, um, I've cut the two of the corners off because it's been doing my head in for a while I didn't cut it the right size it was a bit bigger so I just fold it under the rug but you can feel it it's like lumpy and bumpy so in a minute I'm going to cut off two of the corners so it will fit properly so I am liking this new spray mop but like I said I don't feel like it gets the corners and edges properly But it is good. And for that price, 9 99 you can't... Well, you can't expect too much, can you, I suppose? So here is the mop after I've mopped. It's not too bad. I thought it would be a bit more muckier. And I think I did put something at the beginning of the video, but I'm so sorry for my really unflattering outfit. It was such a hot day, and yeah, but that... Them shorts are awful. I'm not going to be wearing them again to clean in when I'm filming. They're just awful. I felt so self-conscious of my legs. Um, them riding up and, and yeah, showing off too much. So 
will not be wearing those again. The, I think the first bit's a bit choppy because I had to cut things out because it's a bit too revealing. And it's just, I, yeah, wrong outfit for that day. But like I said, it was really hot. And that's another thing. I wasn't like rushing to get all the cleaning done because it's, it's just going to get me hotter and just didn't need to be any more hot than it was that day. So I've cut off them corners and it's a much better fit now. So I was going to put the spray away and then I thought, oh, I should really wipe down the the thing the telly's on. I don't do it as often as I should and I should. I am thinking of replacing it with something or I've been thinking about putting the TV on the wall or painting it. I've had it, I don't know, 10 years plus I got it from a charity shop. So I, what I want to say something like six pounds. It was no more than ten pounds. It's only two minutes away. I walked at home, and and it's only um, you know like Argos um, flat pack furniture, and then the top is beginning to wear away. It is like um, oak effect, I think it is, but it's starting to wear away. So I can't decide what to do with it. I might paint it or cover it or I don't know what to do with it. There is something I want to do in my living room, but I can't afford to do it at the moment. My partner won't... I'm not going to say won't let me buy it. That It's a sort of eye roll situation, if you know what I mean. I think he thinks we don't need it, but I've wanted it for a very long time, for a few years now, since we've been together, if not longer. So the dream is to save up for it and have it one day. I'm not going to reveal. Uh, I'm not going to reveal what it was, but I did nearly get one a few weeks back. I was looking online, and all I had in the back of my head was the eye roll. I know I can buy what I want, but when it comes to more pricier items, I do think, oh, should I be spending that sort of money? So it is me as well. But one day I will do it. I've been telling my mum to do it as well. She needs to get this in her home as well. It would finish it off nicely, but I don't know if she's going to do it. If I had the money, I'll get her one, but yeah. I will tell you one day what it is, but I want to get it first and then say, oh, look. And I've, sorry, I've realised I've been waffling on as well for the entire video about rubbish, so I'm sorry about that. But I'm just sorting out the washing now. So this is the, that's the top Dylan got when we went to see Queen. Um, I can't remember what it's called now. He loves that t-shirt. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I've got all the washing off. I was checking whether it was dry or not. A couple of bits were still damp. Chuck this on the sofa. I'm going to fold it up, then pull it in the room it needs to go in. So Dylan's can go on his bed. He was at school this day. I think this is the day before his Duke of Edinburgh trip. So I'll just put his clothes on his bed and put ours in our room. And then I'll put it away when my daughter woke up. Oh, Dylan is in love with white t-shirts. I don't know why, because he gets his dinner down it and it takes forever to get these stains out. But I think there's about three or four of them there. One of them is mine. I think it might be this one. It's got um, Tinkerbell on it. I got it from a charity shop. I want to say 350. And it's got sequins on it. It is a size 20, but it's nice fit. It's baggy-ish. Well, I'm a 16 to 18, so it's not too bad. And it's good for when I do, um, what is it, the dance exercise class. But yeah, he likes white t-shirts. I might get him some more. But he tends to go for those over his other tops. Oh, a little update. You know I did his room. His room has stayed tidy-ish. Half, half his wardrobe is a little bit of a mess. Not too much of a mess. But it's not nicely folded anymore. And he has tidied his desk. It's got an estate a couple of times and he's tidied it up. So he really does need to declutter some stuff in there one of these days. And hopefully he'll do it soon. 
be nice if he could do it because again his birthday's in September and of course you've got Christmas coming so it'd be nice if he could get rid of some bits and pieces I keep meaning to go back through my wardrobe I have picked up two or three bits and put them over the door to get rid of those I haven't got rid of them yet or gone through it all I think I started going through it then Sophia wanted me to go in the living room with her one day but so much I've decluttered so much lately I still need to do so much decluttering and it, it looks like I do nothing just when I do tidying and cleaning sometimes it looks like I've done nothing so this is the finished living room all tidy so again we can get rid of so much stuff and look so much better in this living room so that is the mountain of toys I need to go through And there's the sofa. Really, I know, it needs washing. I'm going to wash it in September, hopefully. There's Tiger relaxing. But there is going to be a part two to this video. And then there's, like I said, there's going to be a 53-minute version of this video. So no break, just one video, no talking and music. And a little shopping haul, because I've got a few bits as well. I didn't want to stop stroking Tiger, but I had to finish off the video. So here is the finished living room. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.